Your party dashes into the streets at the entrance of the courtyard of the manor itself. That's when the lightning strikes. The shadows give way for a moment. And at the top of the stairs, you see an older magi already completing the arc. What's up, nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all? <laughs> it's your buddy, Big Johnny G for two. Gun Pixie presents Legendary Gaming. All right, this is what I'm calling uh, Night Zero. So this is the Sunday night before this coming Saturday's uh, return to D&D. Uh, you're going to see this episode drop in April. Actually, it's April now that you're watching this. <laughs> but, but we're filming this in the in the beginning of January. So uh, I finally found out that all the gamers who are part of this new campaign, the second campaign, the next part, uh, everyone's going to be here on Saturday. It's supposed to be. So that's awesome. So now I can build. Uh, so I'm going to take this one table, and there's going to be a second table. This is all starting tomorrow. Give me a second table, uh, and then I just got to start building this all out, because I'm uh, I'm making a city. I'm making the town of Brindenford. Um, not even the whole town. I would need like eight more tables to do that, and probably about eight times the amount of Warlock stuff that I have. Financially, that's not happening, <laughs> but, but I'm going to be putting that all to good use. All to good use. Um, this is going to be a the biggest tabletop build uh, adventure that I've ever done. So I'm going to be laying this out uh, piece by piece, letting you know how I do it. Um, I'm going to be starting uh, tomorrow when I start. I know I'm going to be starting with uh, obviously getting the second table down, tablecloths, uh, and uh, and then using risers to give everyone an opportunity to uh, you know hold their their, their character sheets and their drinks and everything uh, underneath the table risers. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. And then start building the front the front stone, uh, you know, fort walls of the town, the entrance. That's what tomorrow's going to be. But I'm going to show you that tomorrow uh, for day one of the big build. I'm starting on Monday, day one for the big build. So but that's all part of it. That's coming up next. To me, it's going to be an overnight. To you, it's going to be just a matter of a few seconds. All right, let's... Uh, Let's get to that build. <laughs> Morning. So this is uh, day one, day one of the Brendan Ford uh, build. So the first thing I got to do today is uh, I got the tablecloth off. I got to get rid of those boxes. These are like just in the way. I've got to uh, break them down and get rid of them. And then I'm going to throw the other table in. So I have two tables here. And then we're going to start with the tablecloths. And uh, then we're going to start with the... Uh, we're gonna start with the with the with the wall, the town wall right over here. So, I think that's the goal for today: is 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 get the two tables set up, tablecloth set up, the table risers, the, the computer risers that I use. Got a whole bunch of them right over here, <laughs> just just waiting to be used, like some kind of post-apocalyptic playground. <laughs> All right, so yeah. This is, uh, this, is, this is the most exciting build that I've ever had to do uh, for my gaming group. So, one step at a time. Let's see what else I get done for day one. All right, so this is, uh, <laughs> this is the two tables with the tablecloths down. So, I'm going to start putting the, uh, putting the risers on. Now, here's the thing. These tables are not the same height. Annoying, isn't it? Uh, there's a slight difference. Uh, the table on the right here is just a bit higher. It was a lot higher. Oh, yeah, nice. Your horn works. So, yeah, it was a lot higher. Now it's just a little bit higher. One of the things that I did was uh, on the lower one, I, I put on these uh, little feet, the little boots. And uh, I actually don't think this is going to be a bit of a problem. The reason I say that is because not all of my computerizers are exactly the same height. Literally about half of them 
are a hair taller. So I'm hoping that that's gonna balance it out. Let's set them down and see if that works. This is what I'm talking about. See, so this one here, this one right here is uh, it's a little bit higher. But since this part of the table is a little bit lower, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, sweet. That perfectly lines up, even though the one side is a little bit taller, because the one riser is a little lower. Ah, nice. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> All right, now just to fill this whole table with those risers. All right, give me, uh, give me a few minutes. All right, so this is what we got so far. It's, uh, it's, it has a few gaps, has a few holes, which is perfect because it's got one, two, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six slots that I don't have rises for, but that's okay because I actually got six in the mail that are coming today. So that'll, uh, th that'll finish that out. Good that I, I just wanted to start at the front. But uh, yeah, you know, there's also just some gaps and everything here, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to fill that in. How this isn't going to be a problem. I'm uh, I'm not going to be putting I'm not going to be putting my my warlock tiles directly down on this. Why don't you uh, <laughs> why don't you bear with me for a moment, and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, hold on. All right, so uh, what you see here is planning for this. I got four mats from Battle Systems, neoprene mats that should cover this nicely. Uh, let me uh, let me put a couple down since I won't. I don't have enough risers to put all four down right now. Let me put a couple down and show you what this is gonna look like. Hold on. All right, so this is what I got going so far. Still got to wait for those extra risers to get in later today. But, yes, I did see that I do not have enough neoprene mats. Should have brought at least two, four. Shit, I should have bought like six, so I probably needed eight. But, but I'm going to make do. Uh, Tidy Boss has these, uh, these mats here. I got this underneath. Yeah, it's all jacked up right now. I know what you're thinking. John, this is all jacked up. How are you going to use this? That's because the weight of the tiles and with the buildings, it's going to hold it down. It's going to hold it down. Uh, I'm going to be putting out dungeon floor tiles. I'm going to be putting out some of the dungeon floor tiles, floors, yeah, right here for the beginning and uh, for right behind the walls before we start with the city streets out there. So before I get to the wall... Because I want to get the wall done today. That's the project. Uh, I need to start putting out some tile floor. All right, so that's the next thing we're doing today. Let's get started on that. All right, uh, it is taking me to open all uh, 10, all 12, all 12 of my dungeon tile 2 uh, for light walls uh, to get the floors out. Because I wanted the outside of the town, just before we get to the the, the town walls, it'll be right over here. Is uh, I wanted I wanted hard pavement, and then a dirt road leading up to the uh, entrance gates. So I think though I'm gonna need a few more pieces out for the other side of the wall. I think I'm ready to get the wall going now. <laughs> Yeah, okay. That'll be the next project. See you soon. All right, so I'm liking what I got so far. I still have to attach like 24, these 24 pieces over here, they're not attached. I got to attach them. I just wanted to stop and get an eyeball of how the entrance is going to look. So I think it's going to look pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving this spot blank here. It's all muddy. That's why. Yeah, that's my reasoning. It's my, it's in my head. So back here. Ooh. So I'm going to extend. I'm going to need another 24 of these uh, pieces here to extend out this way. 
Uh, and then over there on that side. And then that should be it for the dungeon tile look that I'm going for for the entrance. After that... Whew, after that is that. Now, I'm not sure if that's today or tomorrow. I'm not sure if that's today or tomorrow. I'm going to have to uh, wait and see how that all pans out. But there we go. There's, there's the entrance. That looks pretty cool, huh? The doors open up. Hold on. Let me... I don't know if I can do it one-handed. There we go. And the doors will open up like so. And we'll be able to see when everything's built. Be able to see through the doors into the uh, into the festival. Very cool. All right, let me let me finish off. I'm gonna finish off the uh, dungeon tile base floor. And then I'll see what else I got to do today. Maybe call it a day for this. You know, I have other things to do. I got dogs to walk, laundry to do, dishes to do. <laughs> Normal life revolves around me. But for right now, yeah, let me finish connecting these and uh, getting these dungeon pieces out of the way. Well, not really, because I'm going to use I'm going to use a lot of the dungeon pieces for first floors. I figure the first floors in a lot of these buildings will be stone, and I figure the barracks. I want to build uh, two barracks. Uh, small barracks on either side of the entrance. They're going to be all stone. So I still need that stuff out for that before I switch over. So yeah, maybe maybe that is definitely day two project. <laughs> Alright, well day one still continues a little bit. Alright, looking good, huh? This is how you do an epic build, my friends. This, this is how. Alright, we'll be back in a little while. Alright, well it's been a long day. I've, uh, had a few trials and errors, figured a few things out along the way, and uh, here, let me show you where we're ending day one. Oh, okay, so this is what I got for the entrance. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, wraps around. I'm not going to, I knew I wasn't going to bring the whole thing around. This is just to symbolize that it keeps spreading out further to the side. Same thing over here, it keeps spreading out further to the side, just... Use your imagination. All right. Uh, yeah, we uh, already started putting a few marketplaces out front. And a few uh, defenses. Got some defenses here. Why not? Every town needs some defenses. And of course, the front door is open. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And uh, this is what I got over here so far. Got some trash. On the side of the building. And this building, this building, this is the second floor. Uh, oh, this is going to go flying all over the place. This is the second floor of the barracks. <laughs> so there you got two. I'm going to put some stairs on the outside uh, to get up here. These, these two things are not staying here. Those two things aren't staying there. I'm just putting them there for the moment. Uh, these are not... These are not from Warlock Tiles, WizKids. Uh, these are from Etsy. Mm -hmm. A little bit bigger, a little more prominent. I have uh, like eight more of those. And uh, yeah, this stuff isn't staying up there either. That's just a place to put it right now. So if you want to see on the other side, you want to see on the other side what this looks like from inside of town. There we go. So for tomorrow, I want to build uh, some of the uh, buildings, uh, houses, businesses. I want to build like four of them, four or six of them, uh, and then I can place them out and then start building the streets around the around the buildings. I think it's going to work out best if I do it that way. Make the buildings first. Ooh, all right. Make all the buildings just waiting. I got some more with the battle system stuff too. I'll be using. But there you go. There's a. Uh, there's everything as it stands for the end of the day. I think I put in a good day's work. All right, let's uh, whew, let's wait and see what day two brings. All right, Tuesday morning, day two of this big Brynden Ford build. So yeah, if you remember what I had left off from last night, not too bad. So today is going to be primarily working on buildings. I got some stuff I got to build. Got to be building a blacksmith forge 
And I got to combine the Mead Hall and the Northern Homestead, along with another extra Northern Homestead I have and a few extra pieces, to make a nice big uh, barn. You know, uh, for people that go put their horses in a stable. Stable, yeah. And uh, then we're going to be building buildings with warlock tiles. So after I get all the buildings built, then I'll have a better idea of how I want the streets to look when I know the shapes of the buildings. So I'm assuming there's not going to be... Oh, yeah, I got to do... Uh, I got to put these... I got to clip these in. I got to clip these in. I didn't get a chance to do that last night. But otherwise, yeah, there's not going to be a lot of extra building going on today. When I get the, uh, the houses, the homes, the buildings, the businesses all set up, then tomorrow I'll start laying out streets and putting the buildings in. Whew. I'll show you some progress along the way. <laughs> all right. Woo! I'm starting... I can't even work in the game room. There's no room on the table. I had to move it to the living room to do this. So, yeah, um, we're going to start with this. I'm going to start with the Blacksmith Forge. And uh, I'm not going to show the entire building of it. That's it's going to take way too long to, to film that and to edit that. But here goes, here goes important documents from the government. No, no, this... <laughs> this is well, this is important though. This is, this is the clips. And all the clips go in here that we're gonna need. And then the boards. That's what you want to see. This is all this is is boards. I am gonna build all of this and turn into this. So let me uh I'm gonna do this in parts as far as the filming goes. I'll show you my progress, I'll talk about it, and uh, then we'll move on to a few others. All right? Cool. All right, so uh, I, I got a bunch of the pieces punched out and ready to go, uh, and uh, I'm not going to show the video or anything, but I'm on the Battle Systems page, and I'm going to go here to learn how to build the Blacksmith's Forge. And I know from past experience, first thing he usually tells me to do is, you know, I have to, it usually helps if I separate out the uh, connecting pieces, so uh, I have them categorized, and it always starts off with the walls, and I have some second level floors ready to go, and I have the walls stacked out, and uh, in case I need anything sharp, or a little dab of glue here or there maybe, I'm ready to go on that, so let me start the build. And we'll we'll see uh, if I if I get it to turn out like this. I I'm pretty good at this. I need to watch the videos, but I'm usually pretty good at this. Let's let's see what happens. All right, so uh, watching the uh, the video, I think I'm doing pretty good so far. Got uh, the first floor kind of done, and we got some more levels to do. So I'll be watching more of the video, but progress. Progress is being made. Okay, so that's that's the way it should look as of right now. That's the way it should look, and this is where I got it. Excellent, excellent. I just uh, you can close the little flap, or open it, or uh, or remove it if you want. Okay, so let's uh, let, let's continue. We got some roofs to make. And uh, some bits and pieces to put out for the for the forge and stuff. All right. So far, the video's uh, really easy. <laughs> All right. So uh, this guy's got to complete. And that's the way it looks for him. Not bad. Not perfect, but not bad. Really, really good. So this comes off. I didn't build any of the scatter stuff. I gotta do that next. But yeah, these roofs all come off. And uh, look at this. This guy's got an extra floor here. He's got an extra floor. Let me take that over here. This as well. So let me get some more of the extra uh, stuff out and show you some more when it's completed. Go. Cool. All right, I think this looks pretty damn awesome. I mean, I always have a problem with the bending of the of the roof part. Um, it, it seems like after I bend it a little bit, it can never really get back to where it was going to be before. <laughs> but yeah, so um, 
And a couple of chairs. You know, blacksmith is uh, living large, as you can see. And over here, whoa, what's this? We got another level. He had a little uh, storage attic for himself. And there's a little work area, workbench, a uh, place to cook and heat things up, I guess. Um, and here we got a workbench and a ladder to get up to his two chairs. And, uh, and here we have uh, an external storage area. So yeah, a nice little blacksmith area that we got going on. Put this all back like so. Just to make sure it's slotted in right. Yeah, it sits right nice. Put this in. And get that in. And there we go. So I think that looks I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Cool. Now on to the uh on to the uh, after lunch. Move on to uh, the Mead Hall, Northern Homestead. Bring up my other Northern Homestead. I have some extra stuff, and we're going to make some stables. Very cool. Looking good. Ready for a city adventure. All right, so uh, I got my box of uh, my second Northern Homestead, my second Mead Hall. And I'm going to mix these up. I uh, have the liner notes all ready to go by Battle Systems on how to do the stables. And I have a few extra things I may throw in there myself. So let me get these opened up. And I'll show you what I'm dealing with. Uh, one other thing. I do have uh, actually two of the Northern Settlement accessories. Uh, that will help me make this stable. All right, now, now it's time to get started. All right, I, uh, I just went to town. I just went crazy on this. Uh, I completely forgot to give a little updates. But that is the, the that is the mead hall when it's finished. Now, I already have a finished mead hall that's going to be out on the table. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to combine this, and I wanted to I wanted to make... Uh, there goes the battery power. Good. Good timing. So this is what I did. I made this a stable, right? So from uh, the uh, northern accessory stuff where I got the uh, that entrance gate for... And uh, I really wanted I really wanted that to be in the center, but it just really wasn't working. Uh, having to do the the top levels and everything, so so this comes off right here, and you have a top level. Put a little uh, access uh, uh, grate here or something, a uh, trap door. Uh, this comes off. This comes off, and uh, this opens up. So you have a little play area. And you can see the stables. So I got to I gotta do some touch gluing because uh, I altered the way it's supposed to be, uh, especially adding adding this on in the front. Uh, there's no clip for this. So I'm going to have to make a little glue spot on this. And these support beams, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be gluing in this, into place. I, I tend to make permanent builds. I tend to make permanent builds. So, uh, yeah, there you go. I'm really excited about this. Let me put some glue on it and, uh, and see what I have left over. I think I have enough left over to make a, an, another house or two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll see what's next for, uh, for day number two, Tuesday. Hold on. So this is how I'm ending off day two. Um, <laughs> I think. I think I have too many houses. Oh, I, I got rid of one of the barracks, making it double size uh, over here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be doubling up the size of a, a few houses, buildings. There's uh, not a lot of real estate. So I got to push this back. I'm going to push this back. I, I got delayed. I got the last two risers coming. So that means this will be able to push back. And then I can have a, a folding. I can have a folding table right over here, with uh, with the module, my DM notes. I don't need a lot of space for that. Uh, all the minis and everything hidden will be uh, up here, up here. Like, woo, getting focused under here. You know, so I got space to do that, but I have to move this back 
I have to move this back. Uh, and that'll open up a little bit more real estate. But uh, yeah, I got the houses, the second story. I'm going to have some uh, stairs going up to the doors for the second story businesses. And uh, that's one big business in there. And we're going to have some, uh, some stairs getting up to the platform to where that door is. Going up to here to where the roof is. And I did the same thing over here. I definitely am keeping the stable, and I'm definitely keeping the mead hall. I'm not 100% sure if I'm, if I'm keeping the, uh, the, the, the inn. I, I, I should. I might. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see what gets kept. Oh, the forge. i got to keep the forge, because we need a forge uh, for the module and, uh, and the soldiers. They need a forge. All right, so that is how day two is ending, my friends. Day three, we'll be uh, building out the city streets now that I have the buildings made. Uh, I'll put out the city streets and uh, I'll be able to know where everything is going. Whew, tomorrow's going to be a busy day. So I have so much other things to do, too. <laughs> Life as a DM is... Never slow. All right, um, join me in a, in a moment, which for me will be tomorrow. Whew, see you then. All right, so this is the way I left it last night. You just saw that a moment ago. Today, today's going to be filled doing something with this. Yeah, I'm going to uh, con connect this like I said I was going to do yesterday. I got caught up in making all those buildings. And then we are going to figure out where the buildings all go so I know how to lay out the streets. Okay, and then uh, after that we're going to be spending the next few days populating it and uh, making it pop and come alive. Alright, let's 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 see what the first thing is that I can get done today. I, uh, I, I got enough buildings out. I'm convinced of that. <laughs> and if I'm wrong, I can always make another couple of real quick. Alright, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm so ready. There's defenses. Here's some town defenses. This way to Haven. All roads lead to Brendan Ford. All right. All right. Cool. Let's see what I do with this. All right, so I'm taking a break for lunch. I set up some more of the uh, streets, as you can see. And uh, I, I set out where I think the buildings are going to be. It's going to be tight. I kind of thought I was going to have a little more room. I wish I had one more table, like, lengthwise at the end over there. Ooh, I really wish I did. I'm going to use uh, some uh, Streets of Malifau building stuff to make roofs for the buildings I don't still have roofs for. And then i got to put out more street tiles. But I think, uh, I think, this, I think this might be it. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Let's see what I can do uh, after lunch. I gotta walk the dogs. I have to edit uh, another video. I gotta film a video. Uh, gotta finish doing this and see what happens. Ooh, all right, so this section of the town of Brennanford is coming along nicely. Uh, let's see what, let's see where it grows next. All right, Wednesday, day three. I've been uh, working straight through since lunch and uh, had to do rearranging on the buildings. Uh, I totally eliminated one building and, and, and used it for flooring and roofing for another building. But uh, I got it. Now, a lot of the streets still need to be clipped in. but And I can do that tonight, which means tomorrow I get to populate the town with uh, items as well as people and animals. <laughs> you want to take a look? All right, hold on. All right, so this is it. This is what we got. The town of Brendan Ford. So the city gates and the city wall and some roads leading up to it. And uh, I'll put some merchants out to go with this stuff so you can see the party is overflowing. There'll be a line of people waiting to get in. And to get in, they shall... Right through the front gate. Ah. And then from there, we're in. 
So here goes the stables. Uh, this is not the way Ballast System says to make it. I made it better and bigger. <laughs> so that is all the stables. I got room for six horses. So that tiny little one that had room for two. And uh, still gets to keep everything that's... It's good about the outside and the look of this place and everything. Yeah, okay. Uh, right over here we have uh, barracks, uh, we'll keep. And uh, big empty street, big empty street. I gotta clip in, I gotta use the uh, easy clips. I'm just, put, I put this all out so I could see what I needed. Okay, so here is the mead hall. <laughs> Meet all, very cool. Uh, oh, this is the inn. Right here, this is the inn. It's supposed to be like an inn in a tavern. I think it's too small for that. I think it's too small for that. Mm. So I don't know, uh, I mean, I know what buildings I'm going to be using, what kind of uh, shops and stuff. I don't know which building is which. I really love that bridge going across the uh, the two buildings over there. <laughs> I got a smaller uh, bridge from uh, battle, uh, battle Systems. I may put it between these two buildings here. Uh, these buildings really won't need a bridge between them. I don't know why I want bridges between building tops. I don't know why, but uh, this one won't need it uh, because of the wall extensions that I put here. Because well, I was running short on walls, and I just thought it would be an interesting look. Uh, and this way it also gives sides to the little balcony. Oh, yeah, this is a very interesting building here. I know what this building is. This building is constructed of all doors, well, except for the back. The sides and the front. This is all... Well, all needing to be clipped. But, yeah, this is all... Because uh, this... <laughs> this is the locksmith. <laughs> so that's the only building that I know. Uh, but yeah, so we got two stories. So we got one big building uh, down here. And then you uh, use the, uh, the, the, I'm going to put some stairs out. And the stairs, stairs will get to the top floor. I don't even have the door for the top. Oh, here it is. I have the door for the top floor there. I'm going to put some stairs uh, in order to get there. There are no stairs. There's no way to get to the second floor here. The locksmith. Or is there? This building is the same. It's one big building uh, underneath. And then up here, it's two shops. It's two shops. Okay, nice uh, tight uh, alleys. I wanted some nice tight alleys. It's going to be a little tighter uh, with the staircase that's going to be uh, here up to that door. It's going to make it a little tighter. I like that. Okay, oh, and this is the Blacksmith Forge. I want to put that somewhere near the barracks, right? I'm using these things from Etsy to cover in uh, the, the, the one-inch gaps that were created. I think that's quite clever. Works out good. So, yeah, I'm going to spend tonight clipping everything in now that I know where everything belongs. And uh, hope that doesn't take me until tomorrow. Tomorrow is tomorrow's going to be populating this, this part of the city. With festival goers, bards and minstrels, town folk, uh, circus people, a hot air balloon. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, my DM screen, my DM screen. So yeah, I still got to wait till tomorrow for the last two risers. They're going to go in here and my DM screen will, will go right across. We'll go right across here making a, a, another wall. But yet leaving, leaving a little bit, leaving a little bit of an alleyway. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I got to uh, populate it. I got a whole gallon-sized bag full. You'll see that tomorrow, full of people to use to populate the town. I'm gonna put some more street lights out. They're, they're LED, by the way. Yeah, they're gonna look cool. So all right, let me. Before I take a dinner break, uh, let me, it's like about an hour before the wife gets home, hour and a half maybe. So yeah, let me get some clipping done with the easy clips, and then I'll probably have to do more tonight before bed. Hopefully I'll get it all clipped in and finished. 
So I'll get populated tomorrow. This is looking awesome. <laughs> All right, yeah, uh, I'll show you more tomorrow for uh, for day three. Uh, day four. I'm sorry, day four. Tomorrow will be day four. <laughs> All right, cool. Day four of the big epic city build. All right, so like I said last night, uh, I got the skeleton all done. I just got to flush it out now. Take a look. Yeah, so like I showed last night, this is it. All right, so I got everything that I needed done. And uh, now, today, I got tons of other things. Doors and archways, stairs and ladders, tavern, kitchen, some more tavern stuff. We got uh, the Town Watch, the Marketplace, Merchant's Row, and uh, a couple of basic sets. And I am going to bring, I'm going to bring this empty, dead town to life today. Huh? All right, first I got things to do. I got a couple of dogs I need to walk. I got to get dressed. <laughs> got to, well not in that order. <laughs> got to get some breakfast. And get the day started. All right, so uh, you'll see me in a sec. I'll see you. Uh, well, I don't really see you at all here now, do I? All right, just hold on, and we'll check out how this is going to be built up. All right, so just the way I, I started with the uh, the front, with the front wall, the gate, uh, I, that's what I'm going to do here. So, so the first thing I want to do is the town watch. I want to get some people up there on the walls. But unfortunately, even though there's a lot of cool stuff in this box, there's only a couple of, like... You know, there's there's a there's a thief, there's a okay sheriff, that's cool, and a bailiff, I guess. There's pirates and a blacksmith. So there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of uh, <laughs> security. That's why if you look over here, I'll talk about that bag later. This bag right here, this entire gallon-sized Ziploc bag is filled with people, just townsfolk uh, that I've been collecting. So uh, there, there, are some, there are some guards in there, some watch, some soldiers. So I'm going to use them as well as this. And uh, let's, whew, let's start with the front. All right, hold on. So by the way, uh, to make things easier for myself, not only have I been collecting the townsfolk and stuff, but I've been separating them out. Like this little bag here uh, has to do with some performers. Actually, it's the, the incomparable Giacomo and a troop that he has. Uh, got some, what's this here? I got some, oh, here's all halflings. There's a lot of halflings in town. Uh, some animals. And some animals, but right here, this, this is the one I need right now, is this has, uh, soldiers and guards in it. So let's, uh, let's add this with that, and let's get things started. Alright, so I got all of the, uh, got all of the, uh, the town guards. I got a whole bunch here in the, on the top, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Looks well fortified. I mean, they're having a festival, so they need to ramp up security now, don't they? But uh, and for the stable, we got a centaur. There's a centaur who runs the stable. That's kind of cool. I uh, got stairs out. Now, I'm uh, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go back into the... Uh, I have to go into the, 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 the town and house stuff uh, for the full size walls, and I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a little platform here, and I gotta do that on the other side. I do that on the other side as well. But yeah, I got uh, the bodies. No, <laughs> just waiting to to use them. But yeah, I got uh, the stairs there here. I got blacksmith stuff going on here. Oh, that's pretty cool. More stairs in the alleyway. I got stairs going up to the second floor. Same thing over here. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, so now, now everyone else, I guess. <laughs> I get a whole bunch more people out. I got another couple of hours before I take a lunch break. Walk the dogs. Take care of normal stuff. But this is starting. To look alive. Alright, see you shortly. Update. 
<laughs> the city is popping. All right, so yeah, a few little changes out here. A few little changes out here, but yeah, this is pretty much as active a spot as it's going to be. Look, I put some entertainers out here. There's people waiting to go in. And you got, uh, you got this Captain Guard guy here who's making sure that everyone... Uh, you know, keeps their weapons peace bound and everything. Uh, I added some some uh, guard gates from the bridge. That looks very cool. All right, but if you've pretty much seen all this, this is just this is just a little bit of an update. So the city itself, so far, I still got a lot more to do. Still got to put out. Uh, still got to put out the uh, the carnival. Still got to put the carnival out. And. Uh, Got the swamp gas balloon up there. I got to put that out. So I have the uh, the barracks are filled in case they they need to or have to go in there. The uh, stable the stables all open. Uh, I got the tavern uh, the meat hall popping a bit, and uh, I got uh, the, ta uh, the the inn. The inn is good. Got a couple of bridges on the rooftops, and look at that, a giant eagle soaring around. <laughs> I have a lot more animals to put out. Uh, yeah, you got parades, you got parties going on, you got merchants. So now what I got to do is uh, I got to occupy the warlock buildings over there. Actually, the center building they are never going to get into in this adventure. The locksmith, they're never going to get in there. Um... And uh, then these buildings over here, I got to take care of those. So I'm going to take a lunch break. I'm going to take a lunch break, but let's uh, take a little look around town here. A little conversation going on here at the blacksmith. A little conversation back over here. Oh, training. That's what we got over here, training. Hey, is somebody trying to escape? We'll see how far they get because there are guards up here. <laughs> Then a little change up uh, at the Blacksmith Forge. A little change up there. Uh, the gallows don't want to be caught there, do you? And we got some uh, merchants. Merchants about selling their stuff. I think the bulk of tomorrow might end up being uh, noting. Noting which merchants are selling what. Look at that nice parade we got going. Yeah, we got a nice parade. You want to look at that? And uh, you got these two fools entertaining people over here. You got another part of the parade coming up back over here. People trying to have a conversation. You got a fortune teller over here. What is? Why is that open? He wants to know. Couple of more guards. The dwarf is going to be important. That's an NPC in uh, Ronald's uh, storyline. The outside of the tavern is hopping. Yeah, I am. I'm really happy with this so far, and I know it's just going to get bigger, better, more alive. So I'm going to take a break for lunch. I got a few personal things I got to get done. Got to take the dogs out. Walk number three is coming up, and uh, that's it. So. Woohoo! Looking alive, this town is sweet. All right, so after I do all that stuff, I'll I'll do more work here and I'll show you what it's doing. All right, so here we go. Um, it's it's finished just about. There's two other little touches that uh, hopefully me and the wife are gonna get to uh, tomorrow. But otherwise, it's done. It's populated. It's got a it's got a carnival in town, a swamp gas balloon ride, giant eagle soaring around, birds everywhere. Meow. Cats, dogs. There is a murder in town. <laughs> yeah, crows everywhere. Crows everywhere. Is that out of focus? In focus with you. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, uh, I am very proud of what's going on here. I think this is just going to... 
This is going to blow them away. This is going to blow my group away. There's so much to look at. There's just so many things going on. Because this is an active and living city. <sighs> they got a murder in town. All over the place. All day long there's a murder. <laughs> People are watching what's going on. Look at that. We even got a, even got a knife thrower. Didn't get a chance to get that knife throwing board painted by my buddy. But with everything else, it's pretty cool. What about the balloon? What do you think, huh? <laughs> What's going on down here? I don't know. Hope they find out. There's a little bird. There's another bird right there. See it? So go and focus. There you go. That's not really. Uh, Got some plants. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? You got some plants. Somebody reading fortunes over here. Got their cat. This is the alley. The only way to get into this door. <laughs> What's uh, the eagle's eye view going on here? Oh, above shoulders like a video game, but not not bad. Pretty cool, man. Yeah, there's shit going on everywhere. Cat on the roof, birds all over the place, cows, horses. I think there's a there's a there's a bull. <laughs> all right, so uh, gotta put everything away. There's there's two other things I gotta do. Actually, there's three. I just noticed here. Let me show you one of them. So these these three kids here. These three kids here, I pulled aside. So I'm going to find uh, a place for them. Maybe right over by the hangman. That'd be nice and morbid. Place them. They're going to be playing jump rope. Yeah, I got something for that. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. So I'll update tomorrow with uh, the final touches. And also, I got to start going. got to start going through the module, tweaking the notes uh, for the encounters. All right, so I will talk to you uh, tomorrow, day five. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Well, here we are, day before game day. Day number five of getting all this shit done. And uh, it's, it's done. Take a look. So I, I know I just uh, showed this before I signed off. There's a few things left I got to do. These three kids are going to be playing jump rope. Uh... Probably right. You know, I think it's gonna be sick. Maybe they should be playing jump rope in front of the, in front of the gallows. That'd be kind of sick. Uh, yeah, uh, and that's it. I gotta be doing a lot of cleaning up. Gotta put a lot of the boxes back. And let me tell you something. I'm done with the boxes. I've got to reorganize my warlock. There's just way too much stuff. I mean, it looks impressive, but it's insane. It's insane. I already started coming up with some ideas how I can. Better put this stuff away. I love this. I love the damn balloon. Uh, all right. So, yeah, just a few tweaks. Maybe some scatter stuff. You know, like, why is that Why is that empty? Maybe I should put some stuff in that. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, some scatter stuff. And I got to put these kids out playing jump rope. But how, what do you think, huh? Does, does the city look alive? Is it something that you think you'd be impressed to coming into your game master's room and uh, and seeing this in the game room? <sighs> Still, I wish, I wish, <laughs> I wish this room was like four feet bigger all around. And I could fit another fit another table right in here, lengthwise. Oh, that would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. Okay. Ooh. So the last thing I'm going to do is uh, t uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, there are a couple of things that me and my wife wanted to do. I uh, wanted to add some clouds hanging down from the ceiling, hanging uh, hanging above everything. I'm going to put some clouds in. And uh, my wife's also made some 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 little banner flags. Uh, we got some uh, some thread, so we're going to thread the banner flags on the lamp posts. Yeah. That would be cool. But I want to do that, like, last thing. 
um, because these lamps light up and I don't want to waste the battery power by putting them in like tonight or today uh, and have them just run all damn night. Yeah, that would just kill the batteries and get like one use out of it. So that's that's the plan. That's the plan. What do you think? Put it in the comments. Let me know. All right. Uh, I'll give you another update when I can. <laughs> so I spent the bulk of the day cleaning up uh, and putting all the boxes back, getting them all out of the way. And uh, <laughs> I told you there's going to be kids playing jump rope. What did I tell you? And they're doing it right near the gallows because that is so very Edward Gorey. <laughs> Uh, also got, oh yeah, I got, uh, let's look at it from the front. Also got the DM screen up. A big castle wall. They call it the ultimate DM screen by uh, Gale Force 9, I think. So, yeah, I've already started, uh, I got a lot of the, 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 the character notes written out uh, and updated. And uh, I'm going to be calling it a night. And then tomorrow morning, uh, before the guys get here in the afternoon, about about one ish, uh, I'm gonna have all the rest of my notes and uh, specific for for the module and everything all done. But yeah, that's it. Look at that in the town, party's going on. I filled out the uh, the carts. And I said earlier that these are empty. Why are they empty? So now they are, they are no longer empty now. <laughs> One of the little carts here. You got little things in them. Cool. All right. So, uh, I don't know if there's going to be, I think this is going to be it. I just think this is going to close the video out. Uh, and then next week, next week you will see uh, the big entrance and reveal to the players. And uh, talk about the characters uh, going into Brendan Ford and what's going on and give everyone an update. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed this behind the screen BTS of my D&D &D group. Well, at least the game with the setup and everything. And one last big look at the table. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the next video.